Wild Bill loses it moments on Deadliest Catch. Wild Bill is one of the hardest working captains on the series and is notorious for getting furious when things don't go his way. In today's video, we take a look at times where Wild Bill lost it. If I ever ask you to pump out of bills and you refuse to do it, I will punch you in the face. I don't give a fuck if you like it or not, kid. Do what you're told as engineer. Fuck the dad thing. This is captain and fucking engineer. Wild Bill's son, Zach, was working as an engineer on the Summer Bay ship. The Summer Bay ship was experiencing some malfunctions and the crew needed to manually stack the pots. Bill was frustrated by Zach's lack of initiative. To teach Zach how to move up the ladder in this thing. And it's almost like I have to fight him for these lessons. And it's bullshit. It's harder on the guys, so it's gonna take its toll. Zach did not help the crew push the pots around, which made Wild Bill extremely angry. He has very high expectations for his son Zach, but Zach was extremely sluggish and looked lost, and Wild Bill lost it. Two totally different guys out there. Zach goes into this real blank stare, just barely doing enough to get by thing, and I swear he's not my kid sometimes. Things would get so bad to the point where Wild Bill questioned if Zach is actually his son. Zach would then cost the crew a significant amount of money after he failed to grab hold of a crab pot that fell under the ship. All the pots running down the rail, Nick ran up like he usually throws a hook and fucking went and grabbed a piece of twine. Thing took the twine out of Zach's hand and walked off the rail. While Nick was busy pushing pots, Wild Bill will lose his patience after the Summer Bay experienced a malfunction that was caused by poor management by the engineer, who in this case, the engineer is none other than his son Zach. Bill called up Zach and completely lost it. Do what you're told as engineer, fuck the dad thing. This is captain and fucking engineer. If the bilges need pump, you should be looking at them and pumping them. Nick, have you ever seen an engineer who didn't keep the bilges clean? Wild Bill completely lost his temper after he caught two deckhands betraying him and disrespecting his entire character. Even after, Wild Bill gave them an amazing opportunity to make lots of money. We all make choices in life and you made a up one, man. Yeah. I gave you a job this summer, I gave you money for your family and you just spit in my face. So you need to get your stuff. Wild Bill has a very strict zero tolerance, no drug policy on his ship. Unfortunately, two new deckhands could not control themselves and were drugged while on the Summer Bay ship. Wild Bill then lost it on one of these deckhands. And you were getting high like everybody else. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Bill, I'm telling you. I'm going to call you a bald face liar. Wild Bill flat out called this deckhand a liar and both were fired on the spot. However, both seemed to really regret their decision after they lost a great opportunity and burned a very valuable bridge. Get the f off the boat. All right. With departure imminent, Bill needs to replace half his crew. Bill taught these two deckhands a lesson. However, worst of all for Wild Bill, he was behind on his crab hunting goals and needed to somehow find replacements for those two deckhands. Wild Bill would then go on a massive rant. You get out there on time on this thing, it's ridiculous. And these cons do this. Well. In another instance, Wild Bill would lose it after a deckhand would put his reputation on the line after refusing to follow Wild Bill's orders. Wild Bill got extremely frustrated with this deckhand. What the f bad sorting there, James. 
Deckhand James was putting the Summer Bay's reputation along with Wildville's reputation on the line after he failed to measure the size of the crabs properly. The Alaska state requires the crabs to be a certain size or else the crew would get a $15,000 fine. Now nah, look at me throwing them over the side. Oh, I don't know. You hardly hesitated on any. You were throwing like six to one in there what you did on this. Wild Bill was not playing around and did not want to be fined or under deliver. Wild Bill felt that this deckhand was being lazy and Bill would then say this. How many are in that tote? So we went from 30 and 32 to 14. I watched him through all those pots just going, going, going to that tote. And then I call him on his sizing. And he if there is one thing that makes Wild Bill absolutely furious is liars. The Cape Caution recently got a new deckhand named Jared. Green horn. What? Can't even tie up a boat. Who claimed that he was able to work throughout the new season. Bill soon found out that this was a lie. Hello. Uh-huh. Really? <laughs> You're kidding me. I asked them that before the season. Two. It turns out that Jared completely lied about being able to work through the season as he had two warrants for him and wasn't allowed to work on the Cape Caution. Wild Bill then confronted Jared for his dishonesty. Right here and said, do you have warrants before the season? And you said no. And don't tell me you didn't know. No, I, I didn't know. I had you didn't know. You didn't know. I don't know, man. What am I supposed to do and what am I supposed to say? I've asked you man-to-man -man questions. You've given me answers and they've been wrong through the whole thing. I've gone to bat for you, keeping you to stick around. Deckhand Jared supposedly did not know about the warrants and he claimed that he genuinely wanted to work and contribute. However, Wild Bill was not buying it. Wild Bill felt disrespected and did not hold back on Jared. I don't give a to work. I guess when I ask you a manly question, he lied to me time and time again. You lied to everybody. This job used to be about fishing, not about attorneys and babysitters 